Hello once again. Now spending some time on the oxygen sensitive, which you've all heard about them. And many, many, many um, codes for oxygen sensors. Therefore, we have to understand them. The computer looks at the oxygen sensor, but only on the condition when it's hot enough. Before anything saw, once you start up the key, we're in open loop. We only pay attention to the other sensors, the coolant temperature sensor, the intake air temperature sensor, mass airflow sensor, TPS sensor, other temperatures that have to do with the air and all that, and temperature. We don't pay attention to these heated oxygen because they take a while to heat up. They have to heat up maybe 700, 800 degrees, and then the computer will pay attention to them and will use their information to change the air fuel ratio to change the fuel injectors. So therefore, the computer again is the boss. How many times have I said the computer in all these videos? Every single video, right? He is the boss. He, he controls everything. He has to make a decision. So we have the usual B plus over here going to this. This is a symbol of a heater element. This is what gets hot. It has to heat up. Each one has a heater element, as you can see. All three of them had a heated element. They have to get hot. This one represents a resistor that has different values with the arrow. Now, based upon the oxygen in the air and all these things, it will be <clears throat> the, 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 the midpoint. It will go from 0.1 volts to 0.9 volts or in millivolts, 900 millivolts to 100 millivolts doesn't matter the midpoint is about 0.4 volts 450 millivolts going above that 0.4 you you're in a rich condition below that you're in a lean condition what does that mean rich condition means you have more fuel for the part air lean condition means you have more parts air with that part fuel in other words more fuel, less fuel. Now, comes the tricky part. We have four, how many wires do we have? We have four wires. This is for heating element. Two, heat two. This is D. If you want me to go over it, I'll go over it. Fuse, oxygen fuse, 20 amps. Coming out of the connector, C2. Terminal F9. A pink wire going to here. A splice S100. Um, going into a connector, going into this, coming out another connector, terminal C, another terminal connector B, another wire going into this connector A, A, B, C, D, R, the connections, four wire connections to this uh, uh, heated oxygen sensor. This is the feedback back to the computer to tell it how much oxygen is in the engine or coming out of the engine if it's in the exhaust. We give this, <clears throat> we give this, see this, it gives it a low, meaning it gives it like a ground, <clears throat> excuse me, it gives it a ground. You've heard this term before, the computer gives grounds, therefore it gives it a ground, low signal over here, low control over here, this is part of the, again, the control module <clears throat> for this, this gives it what we need, Right, the ground, the return path. This in return gives it the information how much <clears throat> oxygen is in the air. Again, <clears throat> is it more by voltage? Is it rich? Is it 0.4? It's in the midway. Is it 0.9? It's rich. Too much fuel. Is it 0.2? Too little fuel. Too much air. <clears throat> Therefore, it uses this one as the feedback to tell the computer rich lean or in between each one <clears throat> now this is a v6 the shape of a v6 is like this so shape of a v three cylinders here three cylinders here we're going to have one is called bank one the other one's called bank two we can have a sensor here another sensor over here we can have another sensor on the exhaust be before the catalytic converter we can have another oxygen sensor after the catalytic converter so there could be four or five sometimes even six doesn't matter the concept is the same. Are we running rich? Are we running lean? He's going to tell us. And when that happens, we change what? The fuel injectors. We shut them off or we turn them on more. 
Now, when you see over here, uh, high signal over here, bank one, bank one, and sensor two. So you're going to have two sensors on bank one. Where's the other sensor? Here's the other sensor. This is sensor one for bank one. This is sensor two for bank one. What about the other bank for the other three? Now we have bank two, sensor one. So we have three oxygen sensors. Remember, okay? This is the feedback line, giving information, rich, lean, rich, lean, rich, lean. What we want to see are oscillations. Oscillations means we want to see this, this oxygen sensor go up, 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 up. Those are called oscillations. We don't want to be, we don't want it to be lazy, meaning it's a flat line. <clears throat> we want it to respond. And then based upon that, then the computer determines, make the fuel injector on or off more time. So therefore, not to get too technical, but remember, oxygen sensor, you get a code for them. Make sure you get 12, you make sure you get 12 volts at the connector. Make sure you have a ground. Make sure you have a ground the other one. And then you can determine if, if it's the connector, the oxygen sensor, and the feedback going back. Um, obviously, you have to use a scanner, obviously, but <clears throat> there are ways of going around it to use a multimeter to see if it fluctuates if you have the correct multimeter. That's the whole idea. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I'll, I'm going to give another part two to this, hopefully. We'll see how the views are for this one. I'll go more into detail. This is part one, but please go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto, the other one, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph.